Hey guys, welcome back to Elida TV. My name is Pang and this is The Sensible Review Show. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. One of the first things you notice about the Galaxy Note 3 is how its body is more squared off compared from last year's Galaxy Note 2. And at 8.3mm and 168g, it is both thinner and lighter than last year's model. It also packs in better hardware, but more on that later. Another big change is around the back, with the introduction of a less cheap feeling plastic back cover. While the new faux leather bag won't win any design awards, especially with the equally fake stitching along the sides, the matte finish ensures that it will not attract fingerprints and is also grippier. An interesting new addition to the Galaxy Note 3 is down at the bottom. Samsung has fitted the phablet with a micro USB 3.0 connector, which is a first for smartphones. Let's move on to the user experience. For the most part, the Galaxy Note 3 feels just like any other Samsung Galaxy smartphone, but delivers it on a larger display. The Super AMOLED display is amazingly crisp and borders on oversaturating everything on display, but that's something that many consumers like these days. Interestingly, there is little to no lag that is usually associated with a Samsung Android device, and that's largely due to the very, very powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 chipset with 3 gigs of RAM. Multi-window applications work effortlessly, and the device didn't slow down despite everything we threw at it. The power under the Galaxy Note 3's hood is easily demonstrated by the camera capabilities. The Note 3, like the Galaxy S4 before it, is able to capture photos or videos on both the front and rear cameras at the same time, in full HD, with little to no lag. Smile guys! The 13 megapixel sensor is also capable of recording in 4K resolution. Although our internal test by our videographer found that it is not as great as they claim it to be. What separates the Galaxy Note 3 from other large Android smartphones is of course, the S Pen. Removing the S Pen from its housing immediately opens Air Command, which are shortcuts to the various S Pen-centric apps and features, such as Pen Window, Action Memo, or even Scrapbooker. These features may only be useful to a specific set of consumers, but that's what separates the Note 3 from the other large display smartphones. And in classic Samsung fashion, the Note 3 comes packed with a suite of features that you may or may not know of. Sure, there are the usual smart stay or air gesture, but did you know that there is also a one-handed mode, which adjusts the scale and position of the screen to make it easier for use with one hand? Of course, that isn't without its issues. On our review unit, we weren't able to activate the gesture at all. However, on a unit belonging to our assistant editor Hui, we were able to do it consistently and activate the gesture every time. We're not really sure what's causing the issue here. Our wild guess would be that the screen may be just too sensitive on our review unit. Next is with battery life. I've switched off almost every smart feature on the Note 3 throughout my use, and also sparingly used the S Pen and yet I only manage just over 15 hours of use on average, which is just about one day's worth before it needs to be recharged. Perhaps I expected more, but battery life on the Note 3 just feels slightly above average on a 3G network. Regardless, the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is a very capable Android smartphone and surprised me a lot with its performance. The Snapdragon 800 chipset is perfect for pacifying Samsung's insistence of adding the many, many smart features on the device some of which you may or may not even use. However, the S Pen integration makes for a very different user experience from the Galaxy S4 and elevates Samsung's Note series above the competition. So if you're in the market for a large flagship Android smartphone, the Galaxy Note 3 is the only one you should be considering, even if it costs 2,399 ringgit. And that's it for the review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. If you enjoyed the video, do give us a thumbs up, or if you have a question about the Galaxy Note 3, do drop us a comment in the comment section below. Ultimately, do subscribe to Loud.tv for the latest and greatest from our channel. Thanks guys!